even working on the Sabbath is a is a is a, a tradition to men. Why? They pay you on Friday night, right? So you can spend money on Saturday. So that's a tradition of men. We never worked on the Lord's Sabbath day. Never did that. That's right. We never did that in history, the blacks and the Spanish, the Israelites. We always kept the Sabbath day holy. Christ He kept the Sabbath day holy. So that's why we keep the Sabbath day, because we want to do what? What Christ did. We believe in Christ, right? That's right. All right, so give me uh read that again in Colossians. Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Uh -huh. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. And not after Christ. Give me uh, Matthew chapter 15. Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? By your what? By your tradition. By your what? By your tradition. Setting up on a Sabbath day, selling, buying, cooking. It says, why do you transgress the law by your traditions? This may be a long-term tradition of coming out here on Saturday morning, uh, cooking, selling. But God says, read it again from the top. But he answered and said unto them, why do ye transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? But God said, don't, don't buy and sell on the Sabbath. Don't cook on a Sabbath day. He said, why do you transgress the laws of God with your traditions? Because like he, like he read it earlier, we got six days to do this. We got six days to work. We got six days to cook. All right, read on. Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, honor thy father and mother. Do what? Honor thy father and mother. So that's going into Mother's Day, the tradition. It's not a one day worship. When you when you set something up for a day, that's going into idolatry. Oh, today is her day. This is her special day. When the commandment already tell you what? Read. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother. Every day. The Lord already commanded us to honor our mother and our father every day. So why transgress that commandment by just setting the mother up for one day? Read on. And he that cursed father or mother, let him die the death. And he telling you the judgment for not uh, honoring your mother and your father. So if God's laws is all we need, we don't need uh, a man's tradition to tell us a day of when we're supposed to celebrate our mother. We're supposed to honor our mother. It's a difference. Read on. But ye say... Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. But it is a what? It is a gift. But whatsoever thou mightest be prophesied, prof profited by me. Read it again from the top. But ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. He's saying, don't say to your mother. When you, when you celebrate Mother's Day, you're saying to your mother or father, it's a gift to have you. God said, that's not what my commandments say. Read. But ye say, what's, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. By whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Verse 6. And honor not his father or his mother. He shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of ye none effect by your traditions. So when you celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day, Grandparents' Day, you making the commandment of God of none effect. Because he said, honor your parents in the Lord. That's a commandment. When you go outside of that, you, you fight all year long, you disrespect your parents all year long, and then one day you say, oh, I'm going to get them gifts. I'm going to set them up like they're real, real special, make them feel good. And, uh, thus ye made the commandments of God. Of none effect. You make the commandment of God of none effect. It's more on that. By your tradition. By your what? By your tradition. By the traditions. So it's all traditions. Give me Wisdom of Solomon 14. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 16. It's all a tradition. But it's not of God. And again, like I was telling the sister that was up here. This following this Christ got us following these traditions. 
and we follow the true Christ of the Bible, we're going to follow the commandments of the Bible. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 16. Thus, in the process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. Read it again from the top. Thus, in the process of time, so the Bible was saying over time, in the process of time, because, where did, again, I asked the question when I first got up here, where did Mother's Day come from? Why did we start keeping that uh, as a day? When the Bible always told us to honor our mother and our father. Every day. When did we start keeping that as a tradition? Here's the account. Read. Thus, in the process of time, in the pro over time, read on, an ungodly custom grown strong. Ungodly customs grew strong. Things that are not written in the Bible became normal for us. Became traditions for us. Became custom for us to do. But it's nowhere in the Bible. Read. What's kept as a law. It's kept as a what? Kept as a law. And y'all probably looking at us crazy for saying don't celebrate Mother's Day. These dudes are crazy. That's almost a law. We have to do. What do you mean? We got to do that. Get them teddy bears and balloons. Don't give your mama, don't give your mama some teddy bears and balloons on Mother's Day. She gonna say you got the devil on you. She may cuss you out. The whole family gonna look at you crazy. Why? Because it was an ungodly custom that grew strong. And it grew strong enough to overtake uh, uh, our, our, our religion and what we're supposed to be doing in the scriptures. That's it on that. And graven images were worshipped by commandments of kings. Graven images were worshipped. Give me Jeremiah uh, 44. Jeremiah 44 and 19. Read. Verse 18. But since we left off burnt incense to the queen of heaven. To who? To the queen of heaven. So when you check the history of like Mother's Day, it goes into worshipping the queen of heaven. Also known as Diana by the Greeks. Also known as Ishtar by the, uh, uh, I believe it's the Egyptians. Also known as um, um, Isis by the Egyptians, actually. So this is that's what the Queen of Heaven is going into. Read on. And to pour out drink offerings unto her. We have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. Verse 19, and when we and when we burnt incense to the queen of heaven, when we burnt incense to the queen of heaven, sacrifices, that's what that represents. Give gifts to the woman. Give the gift to the woman. That's that's going into uh, offerings to the queen of heaven. It's idolatry. Read. And poured out drink offerings unto her. Mm -hmm. Did we make her cakes? To worship her mm -hmm. and pour out drink offerings unto without our men. Without who? Without our men. Read. Verse 20. Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, The incense that ye burnt in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings, your princes, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, and came it not into his mind. So the Lord, so that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil. Because of the what? Because of the evil. So we think we're doing good. Oh, my mama. I always love my mama. We think we're doing good by giving those gifts. Teddy bears, balloons. We think we're doing good, but God called it what? Because of evil. Because of what? Because of evil. Remember, it's an ungodly custom. We read that in Wisdom of Solomon. It's ungodly, so anything that's ungodly is evil. It looks good. We think we're doing the right thing. But God says that it's, it's an evil thing. Read it again. So that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings. Right, because we'll celebrate Mother's Day 
but we won't keep the Sabbath. So what are we doing? We putting the woman even above God. We putting these different holidays above what the Lord tells us to do. Read on. And because of the abominations which ye have committed, therefore is your land a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without inhabitants as it, as at this day. And we wonder why we the first fired, last hired. We wonder why they keep raising taxes on us. We can barely make it. We live in check to check. We wonder why we got to work eight days a week, 40 hours a day, just to barely make it. Because we're not keeping the commandments. We keep an ungodly customs which don't profit us anything. After the traditions of men and not after Christ. But we love Jesus Christos. We say we love him. But well, where's the love? Let's give me, give me that in uh, John 14. Real quick. Where is the true love for Christ? Where is the true love for Christ? Read. The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. If you what? If you love me, keep my commandments. Christ said, if you love me, just keep my commandments. I didn't ask you to celebrate your mother. I didn't ask you to... Uh, 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 celebrate your father Celebrate your birthday I'd ask you that what are, you, what are you at If you love me Keep my commandments He asks us to keep the commandments of the Bible That we all say we believe in We used to scream black power While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.